The Mondimix is a simple but powerful circuit that has the potential to add quite a bit of character to the sounds in the system Cartesian. When we patch one signal, such as the telharmonic H out, to the signal input, and another, such as the STO sine, to the carrier input, we get a simple ring mod sound. This sound contains elements of both original sounds. The output of channel 1 is normal to the input of channel 2, meaning that if we leave channel 2's input unpatched, it will automatically have channel 1's output patched to it. I'm going to take the variable output from the STO and patch that to the channel 2 carrier. This effectively modulates the modulated signal and sounds a little different from what we heard on channel 1. Taking the sum output, we hear both channels mixed together. Since this sound is made of components of both the STO and Telharmonic, we can alter its timbre by changing anything about either of these sound sources. As long as we keep one of the two at a constant pitch, all other controls will affect the timbre. For example, here we will leave the pitch of the Telharmonic unchanged while sweeping the pitch of the STO. Also, centroid, flux, shape, interval. If we now use the phase output to sync the STO to the telharmonic, the STO's frequency knob also becomes a timbre control. Note the flux control is full clockwise, which results in the simplest waveform for the phase output and improves the reliability of sync. Using the modulation sources in Maths and Wogglebug, we can animate these timbres. Patching the output through the LXD will take us out of the territory of drone and into rhythm. This patch is intended as a jumping off point for exploration. To recap, we are using the two channels of the Modimix in series, using the same VCO for carrier in both. When one signal source has a constant pitch, all other controls become timbre animators. Remember that in a modular synthesizer, you are never limited to any particular output. Build and unbuild in any formation you like. Visit makenoisemusic.com for more information.